Uh, you don't want me to stop it? Or no? No, 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 no. All right, our next performer coming out. Please welcome Harry Bailey to the stage. Yeah, boy. switching lanes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So today, the bus was 15 minutes late. And I'm pissed off because I had to get to work on time to do some stuff, you know what I'm saying? And when the bus finally came, you know, the bus driver opened the door and looked at him like, he's like, what? I'm like, dude, you're 15 minutes late. He's like, so? I'm like, so? People gotta get to work. He's like, ain't my problem. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, what? <laughs> I was like, look here, all right? That's when the white person came out of me. <laughs> I said, look here, sir. I'm going to write a strong letter to the ATA, MTA chairman and do something about this. He's like, you know, good and well, ain't going to do shit. I was like, not true, word. So, got in the bus, went to the back of the bus. Just, just in general, I just like going to the back of the bus. No racial thing there. Um, and uh, when I went to sit down, this kid was already there with his mom. At first I was thinking, why is this kid not in school? Okay, he was like five years old. But I was like, you know, whatever, I live in the hood. Um, <laughs> so then this kid had a balloon with him. I'm like, that's random. Balloon in his hand. And then this kid all of a sudden just started whacking me with the balloon, you know what I'm saying, in my head. And I'm just sitting here, you know, like this. The illest girl on my face. <laughs> Eventually I just took the balloon and said, give me this shit. And popped it. <laughs> Mom looked at me and said, why'd you pop the balloon for? I said, why didn't you pop the balloon? <laughs> so then, when my uh, bus ride ended, I had to switch over to the train. Again, remember, I live in South Queens. And I, came, you know, I had to take uh, the train, the bus here, to go to the library. <clears throat> so then I got on the train, and there was some guy, there's always one person that's trying to catch the train, running down the steps. And he's like, wait, wait, someone hold on to the doors. Help, help. <laughs> So of course, he, like he gets his arm stuck in the train, right? And the, oh, and the sure. conductor's trying to close the door. You know, he's like, <laughs> yeah, he puts the other leg in. And I, I, you know, I'm running late. I'm already ticked off. You know what I'm saying? The bus is 15 minutes late. A dumb kid kept hitting me over the head with a balloon. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, get the fuck off this train. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got anger management issues. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so then I took the train. I was a little more relaxed. That kick to him kind of like put me in a good mood. Um, <laughs> so then when I finally got up the train, I had to take another bus, which was the Q69 right there at 21 in Queensbridge. So it was like a coming from South Queens where I felt like at home, and then I got off where I even felt more like at home because the project was there as well. So then I got on that bus, and then... There was a lady, I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. And then, there was a lady behind me, right? She's like pulling out her little change purse, because she didn't have a Metro card. So, she's trying to count the money that she has. First of all, I don't understand people, right? When you're at the bus stop, and you've been waiting there for like 10, 15 minutes, why the fuck you do not have your Metro card and change ready? I'm just saying, I'm saying. So, right, clap, it's okay to clap. Just clap, right? Okay. You're amongst friends. All right, so she's taking her time, like, Five cents, ten cents, and she's counting too. And then she lost. I was like, "Oh, I gotta start again. I'm sorry." Five cents. So I'm like, 
you know what? I took out my emergency measure. Come here, look. Take your ass to the seat, all right? All right, everybody, for that reason, you should have an emergency metric card in those situations, all right? So then, of course, I went to the back of the bus again and sit down. Again, nothing major there. Um, <laughs> and then I actually saw an Indian lady sitting across from me, and she had the, uh, the, the red dot on her head. And I have never really knew what that meant, honestly. I never really cared or took the time to, you know, figure out what that was. But so I just went on my iPhone, and um, I looked it up, and it's <laughs> called a bindi. And that means that, um, you know, that person is married. I was like, oh, well, no, duh, Harry, you should figure out for yourself. So I was just thinking to myself, what if the Indian woman gets divorced? She probably take that shit up and throw her husband like, bitch, fuck you, I hate you. Let's get divorced. <laughs> And then, of course, they'll break out in song because they can never, like, you know, end it off with a bad memory. It has to be a happy memory, like a Bollywood movie, you know? Die ho, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, there's another thing I hate. I hate when couples make out in public simply because I'm single. Um, it's just freaking annoying, you know what I'm saying? And they make out at the weirdest places, you know what I'm saying? They make out at baseball games. They make out at weddings. Well, I guess that's kind of normal. They make out at church. <laughs> you know, it, it, the, the pastor's talking about, you know what I'm saying, like, be, um, don't be lustful, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and honor, all that mumbo jumbo. I'm not really religious like that. And then you got the couple right there making out heavy in the back. Forward. I mean, what the hell, man? Something's up with that. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong. All right, so something else I was pondering. Um, in the news, um, there was something about, like, um, a lot of people have been stood up at ATMs, you know, and getting robbed and stuff like that, you know? And, of course, when someone's going to have a gun right in your face, of course, you're going to give them your PIN number. Like, shoot, I ain't going to lose my life. Life is precious, you know what I'm saying? But I was thinking if, if they change the PIN number from a four-digit PIN number to a six-digit PIN number, and you could have letters in it, right? And I was thinking to myself, what if, like, Say, the, your pin number was nigger. <laughs> okay, don't worry, think about it, <laughs> all right? For, for example, if a black person was, you know, trying to hold up a white person, right? And like, what's your pin? You guys would be afraid to say the word. <laughs> I can't tell you. Like, come on, I really can tell me. Come on, I'm going to go to your face. No, seriously, you really don't want to know this. <laughs> All right, so, um, you know, this past weekend I had an unfortunate event. Um, oh, man, I just jumped jokes. Crap. All right, er erase that minute right there. Pretend that did not even happen. Um, why is there so many 3D movies out there? Like, does the movie industry really have to, like, put out all these 3D movies to gain more money? Like, seriously. Two minutes? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that real stare, man. I, 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 uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, like you got Finding Nemo out there in 3D. You got Lion King out there in 3D. First of all, I thought that was messed up. They put Lion King in 3D. Who the hell wants to see someone's father die in 3D? Like a Mufasa dead. Oh! Like, shit, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> like for example, I heard Mel Gibson wants to make Passion of the Christ in 3D. Oh, that's so that's OD. Right? That, that's pretty messed up. First of all, we already seen Jesus get kicked, like, his ass kicked for three hours. Now we got to see that shit in 3D? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, I was thinking maybe they will probably put porn in 3D. <laughs> you know, imagine that. Like, oh my God, look out for the penis! <laughs> or maybe for the lady. Oh my God, she's about to squirt! Yo, cover your eyes! <laughs> That reminds me of an um, episode I had uh, this past weekend, which I was trying to allude to earlier. <laughs> um, this girl did not like my sexual performance. <laughs> Apparently, she doesn't like that I wanted to get a blowjob in the shower first. I'm sorry, water turns me off. Uh -huh. the water gets me hard. I mean, come on. Every, every guy has their sexual preference. <laughs> but then it, when it became her turn, she was even more pissed off. She was upset that I had my own personal vagina taster. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
see some of you guys actually got that. She was upset I had that. I want to make sure that shit is clean. And so I have my personal John Tester with me to check that out. All right, so that's it, everybody. <laughs> 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 Blue one more time, ladies and gentlemen.